we've talked a lot around the business models of healthcare and how direct pay can evolve to be this alternative model. What other advances do you really want to see in the next 10 years besides having these alternative models and, um, gosh, best technology and treatment win? So um, I I would like to see the, um, again, the participation of the, putting the patient in the center of their care. I'd like to see protection over patient's choice, not just women's choice, patient choice over everything from, you know, vaccinating your child to, you know, turn on, you know, turning down life-saving therapy for an elderly parent. Uh, you know, I think that choice in health is, is vital to protect. Um, I'd like to see a doctor-patient relationship elevate to the point of an attorney-client privilege, um, where what happens is private and no one can ask a question about it so that you can have a million laws on the books, but you can't reinforce any of them. Um, I think that 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 the restoring the doctor patient equation um, is really important uh, to do, uh, protecting privacy um, and rewarding transparency uh, by rewarding the patient. I think patients are need to be part of this equation. They need to be incentivized. And I think that that they're, you know, again, when they say, well, patients need skin in the game, the patients have more than skin in the game. <laughs> they have their, their bodies in the game. Um, you know, again, medicine is is beautiful right now and could be so amazing. My residents are brilliant. They train forever. Their technology is, again, breathtaking. Um, the talent that's out there is amazing, especially when you combine it with technology and AI. There are so many answers to so many problems we get so quickly. Um, but all of this is, is, is hidden behind a screen. It's a smoke screen at this point. Um, we can't access it. Um, and, and so to take down that screen, we have to make the system transparent so that we can, you know, we can know if a study is good or bad, who's behind it, things like that. You know, um, because because again, we do a lot of good things in medicine. We were the leader. We were the leaders in the world in medicine. We've we're now number thirty-seven. Thirty-seven, right behind Bahrain, <laughs> but we're ahead of Cuba, <laughs> which is <laughs> unbelievable that we have fallen that far, right? Or maybe the other countries have gotten that much better. Maybe I'm not giving enough credit. <laughs> 